Insights on David Sinclair and Matthew LaPlante's Lifespan. Brought to you by InstaRead. Number one. About a decade ago, scientists started considering the theory that aging was caused by a multitude of factors. DNA damage was one of them, but also loss of healthy protein maintenance, nutrient deregulation, mitochondrial dysfunction, altered intracellular communication, and exhaustion of stem cells. David Sinclair, the author, posits that aging actually can be explained by just one factor, loss of information. Not just digital information, as commonly believed, but analog information as well. Digital information is our DNA. It's easily and efficiently copied and encompasses a finite set of values. Analog information, on the other hand, encompasses heritable traits. Those aren't transmitted through genes. They're stored in chromatin. It's a new concept that few people understand or think of as information. While copying digital information is generally safe and does not compromise data, copying analog information does cause data loss. That kind of information degrades over time due to environmental factors such as magnetic fields, gravity or oxygen. Therefore, the challenge for today's scientists remains to find out how we can adjust those factors in order to prevent data loss. The better we preserve our digital and analog information, the better we preserve our health as it slows down aging. Number two, longevity genes are the genes that help improve our health and extend our lifespan via monitoring our growth, nutrition and reproduction. Sinclair's research focuses on the longevity genes known as sirtuins, which are made in nearly every cell in the human body and are crucial to our survival. Sirtuins require nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD, to operate. Sinclair posits that the main reason we develop disease more frequently the older we are is because NAD is lost as we age. Sirtuins have many benefits. They stop muscle deterioration and osteoporosis, prevent cell death, protect against chronic inflammation like arthritis or asthma, and protect against diseases such as diabetes, cancer, heart disease, and Alzheimer's. Number three. In an experiment, Sinclair inserted extra sirtuins into the genome of yeast cells to test whether it would delay aging. The result was a 30% increase in lifespan. This research confirmed Sinclair's theory that aging is due to loss of information. In another study, mice that had a certain type of sirtuins removed aged faster and had shorter lifespans. The solution going forward seems to be finding a way to add sirtuins to the body, which would allow it to do both its maintenance and reparation functions and extend lifespan. Number four, aging is the reason why we die, but doctors are trained to look for the immediate cause of death. Most doctors believe that there is an internal clock inside of us that ticks away at random, similar to radioactive decay, with some of us lasting far longer than others. They believe that aging is simply inevitable. Because aging is not considered a disease, our medical research funds are rarely going into supporting aging research. However, Sinclair claims it doesn't matter whether or not aging is biological, our focus should be on whether or not we can stop it. Number five, even if advances to treat aging are still under development, there are steps we can take now to slow down the process. Researchers have analysed eating patterns in populations with the most people who reach the age of 100. With that knowledge, they have tried to establish general recommendations for longevity. Some fundamentals include consuming less meat, eating more plants and produce, eliminating packaged foods, calorie restriction, exercising and exposing the body to changing temperatures. Number 6. A compound called metformin has been proven to increase the lifespan of mice when administered in small doses. Research was conducted on over 40,000 humans, ages 68 to 81, who were given metformin. The results were reduction in risk of dementia, heart disease, cancer and depression. Another benefit is that metformin doesn't take a long time to produce beneficial, tangible results. However, until aging is considered a disease, getting a prescription for metformin may prove to be difficult. Number seven, Sinclair also has studied resveratrol, a plant compound to test its potential benefits for lifespan extension. In his experiment, yeast given resveratrol grew slower than other yeast and had an increase in lifespan. 
He also found that resveratrol activated the same pathways that calorie restriction does. Other observations that prove the effectiveness of this compound are that its administration extended the lives of fruit flies by a week, the equivalent of 14 years in humans. As for obese mice, it made them live 20% longer than healthy mice who didn't take resveratrol. However, there's a problem with this compound in that it requires hefty consumption for it to be effective. And unfortunately, our gut does not dissolve it well. Nicotinamide mononucleotide, or NMN, a molecule made by vitamin B, also has shown life-extending benefits. It improved mitochondrial function in old mice, as well as their endurance. Its youthfulness-restoring properties, particularly in the ovaries, may offer insight into how we can preserve and restore other organs as well. Number 8. In the beginning of a human's existence as a living organism, cells divide over and over again, like a yeast cell. But eventually the cells stop dividing and become senescent. This is good because if cells keep dividing and dividing, they might turn into cancer. However, one of the main causes of aging is the accumulation of senescent cells. They wreak havoc in the body by creating inflammatory proteins and activating immune response in cells to make them attack tissue. Senescent cells make us susceptible to chronic inflammatory diseases such as multiple sclerosis and inflammatory bowel disease. The inflammation can also cause other diseases like diabetes and dementia. Research conducted with mice which removed their senescent cells resulted in a betterment of health and lifespan by up to 30%. It was also proven to shrink tumours and slow progression of degenerative diseases in other animals. It is best to get rid of senescent cells as reversing them is difficult. For this reason, scientists are now working on senolytics which are drugs that target and kill senescent cells. They are promising and human testing started in 2018. Number 9. Combating aging should be one of our primary focuses. Aging is the root cause of all illness, so dealing with it would deal with them too. Unfortunately, the medical field is still not convinced. Living longer will make us more empathetic, more compassionate, more forgiving, and more just. Living longer will make us more human. We hope you enjoyed the insights from David Sinclair and Matthew Laplante's Lifespan. If you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. This video is brought to you by InstaRead. Visit instaread.co to get more insights from this and thousands of other books. Use the code YouTube to get a discount on your subscription.